to Mr. Benoit. Good evening. As soon as Mademoiselle Genatier has finished playing, tell her to come in here. Do it so that nobody hears you. Oui, monsieur. your jewels and drive to Bordeaux tonight. Tonight? But how can I? My party won't be over for hours. It'll be late. Well, never mind the party. Slip away. Not a word to anybody. But why? What would your friends think of me? Marianne, dear, you must know I wouldn't ask it if it weren't urgent. We're moving the government to Bordeaux. Paris is to be evacuated. The Germans will occupy tomorrow, perhaps even tonight. Paris? You are giving it to the Germans? You don't understand. It's the best thing that could have happened. What? Run away. Not fight for Paris. Andre. Marianne, dear, I can't explain war strategy now. Do as I tell you. Grand Hotel Bordeaux. I've reserved a suite for you there. And remember, not a word to a soul. Not even warn our friends. Just leave them to the Germans. Why create a panic? Our friends will be all right. The Germans are not cannibals, you know. Seem right. Marianne, will you do as I tell you? I haven't time to argue, please. Yes, Andre. That's better. Oh, don't look so unhappy. For me, for us. This is not disaster, but victory. And while you're waiting, it won't be so bad either. You'll be very comfortable at Bordeaux. Later on, I'll take a place for you at Biarritz. It will be very gay there, I promise you. Now I must be off. Is it quite clear? Change it once. Have Pierre bring the car around the side door. Not a word to a soul. Grand Hotel Bordeaux. Au revoir. Please stay in your homes. Keep off the roads. This is your government speaking. Whoever tells you otherwise, is an enemy and a traitor. Your army needs the roads for your defense. Keep them clear. Stay at From. Where are they running to? The whole country up to the north and east is emptying out. They're running away from the Nazis. Oh, so is. They're just frightened. Andre says the Germans will never hurt them if they'd only stay home.
Why do they have to kill them? What have they done? I don't know, Mama. Keep low. Why must you think about it? Oh, why do they allow it? Where are our soldiers? No more swamps, you then. I'll join you if you will. Yes, Lynn. You better come down here, Grandpa. There's a lot of loose stuff flying oh, around up there. Oh, you can't see better up here. Mian does not like the noise. The Germans blew up her mother. They didn't even leave enough of her to make a good ragu. She was a fine cow, too. Give me a hand. Help me carry her to the car. to Paris? The Germans are there. They're going back. Oh, Mademoiselle, it's impossible. Go on if you want to. I'm going back. for the Gestapo. Hey, look, what am 
two knots in that old stocking of yours for this. One for the landing, and one for the takeoff. Well, here's a nice how do you do. Uh, what's wrong with you now? He's a nasty. Huh? A blooming German. Well, what's he saying? It's a large prayer. Take it easy, old man. You're all right now. You're in the enemy's hands. Hold everything, a message from Artie. What's up? Land where we can, they've bombed our runway. What could be sweeter? The Pecan's Meadow. Right next to our good old village. Okay, home, James. Look, Nick, this isn't right. Uh, why not, Mac? We'll leave him in this cave overnight. In the morning, we'll take him to headquarters. Why did you bail out of that plane? I... Why were your own pals shooting at you? Well, the... Why don't you shoot straight up? Why does Adolf wear that little mustache? Please, I... I... Oh, tough, eh? Won't talk. But we happen to have a few ways of making you talk. Sergeant McAvoy, administer tongue loosener number one. Drink up, Fritzy. Look, Nick, we can get into an awful jam for this. McAvoy, you're a warrior. You'll end up as a major general with liver trouble. What about you, Fritz? Are you going to give? You ask me why I jump. I tell you. Mm, look, Nazi, you got to be tough if you want to win this war. Don't hang out anything on wine. Hold out for brandy. What's going on here, sabotage? Drink up fast, boy, before the place is flooded! From London, sir. Well, here it is, Martin. All personnel and equipment to be ready for immediate departure for home base, 201 Folkestone. Why, that would mean that the whole arm is to bail out, wouldn't it, sir? I'm afraid so. I only hope it can. sons and daughters will let her be. Shall we bow down our heads? Shall we put up our two hands meekly for the chains? Or shall we keep our faith alive so that our nation united may yet triumph? That is the question that every son and daughter of France in this fateful hour must answer for himself. We need troops, people of every sort, old, young, rich, poor, but to in one thing, people who can be trusted It's a meeting, mademoiselle, some people of the neighborhood. You left so suddenly, we didn't expect you back. We've come back. My mother is in the car, she's dead. Called the maids to bring her in, to her own bed. Oui, mademoiselle. Go on, monsieur. I'm sorry for the interruption. Why do you stop on my account? France is my country too.
get on with it. Tomorrow they won't let us leave. They are here. Do we fight them or not? I see the arts in your faces. Yes, there are other ways to fight them than with guns. And for that, we have to organize. All France must be covered with a secret arm, pledged never to rest until the last Nazi is driven from our soil. I call on you to join that army now. We need you, whoever you are, whatever you can do. We need your faith, your courage, perhaps your life. We need every last sort team in your pocket. Let everyone who wants to join enroll his neighbor, Duval, here, to give what he can now. Later on, you'll be told what to do, and when, and how. Meetings like this have been called all over Paris, all over France. The call is out. Let every Frenchman answer it according to his conscience. That's all I have to say. Kaffee haben? Kaffee? Ja? We don't speak German here. Ah, Kaffee, sehen Sie da? Wir bezahlen, ja? Wer ist das? Was? <lacht> das ist mein Hörsbaum. Er ist immer singen. The radio. Go. Turn it off. Oh, never mind. I'll do it myself. Radio. Das ist ja verboten. I told you we should have turned him in last night. Did I know he'd turn out to be such an ingrate? Eats some grub and drinks our liquor and... Germans arrive. A whole army of you. Right away you begin asking for things. Carry it up yourself. Ah, good. Go on, up with you. I'll try to keep you out of my cellar. Till tonight, anyway. Go on, up with you. Evacuated. We slept through it. Left behind. <laughs> Madam Collette here. What do you want us here for? About the job the agency in Paris sent me. You are the new piano player? Yes. They gave you a slip or something? Paris calling. Come with me. Colette, the new piano player is here. Uh, wait in here. they send a girl like you. What's wrong with me? You are much too elegant. But I guess I can make you look like something. The Germans are smart. You make one mistake and they catch you. You go on at eight and off at two. You know how we operate? They didn't tell me. They don't tell any of us any more than we have to know. It's safer that way for everybody. You do know we send from here short wave. Where we send, how, what, is not your affair. All you do is play the piano. 
The printed music doesn't matter. But if it's written by hand, that kind you've got to play exactly the way it's written down. Especially the B flat below middle C. That's the only note we send. That's the note that counts. That's the code, see? The Nazis will come snooping around. They have cross beam detectors and everything. Sooner or later, they'll find out we sent from here. But they won't find out how. That part, you leave to me. All right, Moose, you've talked enough. Well, up. Come on, dearie. I'll show you to your room. What's your name? Marianne. The road to Paris cuts past it to the left. We'll find it. You've been wonderful, Mama Picard. Goodbye. Au revoir. Goodbye. May the good God be with you. Bye bye, Mama Picard. Thanks very much. Au revoir. Goodbye, Monsieur. Au revoir. Shops and petrol dumps will be those outbuildings, I suppose. Yeah, and from up in the air, it all looks like just another hay for you. Pretty slick. Come on. Listen, those motors are ours. They'll never spot this field under all this camouflage. Oh, yes, they will. Get busy. By gum, that's an idea. We'll light some money. That's still think it's Hitler's birthday. Attention, Tiger Squadron. Circle right, 12 degrees. Watch ground fire.
I'm not lying, sir. This organization you belong to, has it a name? I don't belong to anything. Whom do you take your orders from? Nobody! Take him out. Help him remember. <coughs> Sounds as if you'll talk soon. I won't. Haven't you noticed, Lieutenant? Under certain circumstances, the guilty and the innocent sound exactly alike. What have you got there? Shortwave message. We're decoding it now. The station they sent us from, have you located it? Near as I can make it, a little cafe near the docks called La Coquille. Tell you what, Launch. As soon as you've disposed of this shortwave sending station, you can start your furlough. Thank you, sir. Shall I take some men and go over now? By all means, Lieutenant. Oh, wait. I'll go with you. I'm the mood for a little nightlife myself. Do me good. Put this in your pocket. Can't trust the brandy in those places. What's that? Daiquiri cocktail. One teaspoonful of sugar, lemon juice, lime, rum. American, isn't it? The rum? Oh no, Cuban. and check your instruments. Probably made a mistake. Why don't we just arrest them all and close the place up, sir? and have them send their messages from somewhere else tomorrow. For the present, we'll just keep this place under observation, front and back, day and night. 
In particular, watch for the young man who just came in. None of you noticed him, huh? I'm not surprised. Tall fellow, seaman's clothes, muddy shoes, light hair, no hat. Obviously not a Frenchman. When he comes out of here, follow him and whoever comes with him. He's not to be arrested, though. Understood? If you use your eyes and brains for once, he'll lead us to what we're looking for. think she's doing. <laughs> Where did that man go? I gave him the key to my room. You did? What for? He's a British flyer left behind, trying to get across the channel. So that's what he told you? Do you believe that, you little idiot? Oh, he spoke English. He looks English. He's wounded. Wounded? A little blood on his hand. I've seen better fakes than that. Wounded? And all the Gestapo let him alone, eh? Huh? Why, who do you think he is? A Gestapo agent. What else? It's an old trick. They plant a renegade Englishman among us to find out what they can. Heaven knows there is plenty for him to find out around here. Oh, I was stupid. Don't you worry. I'll get rid of him. Now, wait. I won't be smart either. There's no way around to him then. Better keep him in here tonight anyhow. Mm, much better. At least while he's with us, maybe his Gestapo friends will leave us alone. Just watch him. See that he doesn't snoop. Keep him in here until morning anyhow. And we can talk to Marceau. Give him food. Give him drink. Make love to him if you expect it. Make love to him? Certainly. If necessary. Paris calling. Just dreaming. Gray. I knew it. What? Your eyes. What about? Gray. My fate. What are you talking about? Every time I get myself into a mess, the fellow's got gray eyes. Mm -hmm. Last one got away with my coat and my sapphire ring. <laughs> and it was a mink coat. And the ring had two diamonds. <laughs> Your jewelry is safe with me. There's nothing left but this junk. Then what are you worrying about? My neck, this time. Cheer up, sister. Your neck will be safe. And it's a very nice neck. Yes. And I don't want to hang by it from a Nazi rope. There's a pretty good chance that I will. They don't hang you, sister. They just shoot you. And not only me. The boss, too. And everyone else who lives here, hmm? Well, you see, if I have to be soft and get myself into a mess, it's all right. That's my business. But I should have thought of them. I had no right to risk their lives, had I? Ah, stop being sore at yourself. You only did what any right-hearted French girl would do under the circumstances. You were swell. And don't you worry. I'll see that you and nobody else gets in trouble for it. Go away. Gray. What's your name, sister? Sister. <laughs> okay, sister, relax. You haven't got a thing to worry about. I'm clear out of here right now, but there's curfew in this town. The streets are swarming with Nazi patrols. And if one of them saw me come out of this place, then you would be in trouble. Now, in the morning, ooh, with people on the streets, I won't be noticed. I'll slip out bright and early, and you'll never be bothered with me again. Okay? Okay, okay. Fine. Now, 
I'd like to get some shut eye. I've had a tough day. What's the matter? Nothing. I was just looking at that um, chaiselon. Chaiselon? Hmm, positively shabby, isn't it? I was just thinking it uh, ought to be recovered. Hmm? A heck of a time to be worrying about that. Yes, I think of the craziest things, don't I? I wish you'd think about putting out this light and going to bed. Oh, uh, well, go ahead, put it out if it bothers you. about bed. Sure. Do you always sleep in your evening dress? Who, me? No. Why? I, I was just looking for my dressing gown. Tell me something. Those fishing boats, they still go out of the harbor every morning, don't they? I don't know. Well, you live here, don't you see them? I'm a stranger around here. The man who let me hide out in his barn told me that a lot of us British had been left behind. Is that he'd heard of a secret organization that helped him to get back home. How should I know? A smart girl like you is apt to know a lot of things. A smart girl like me keeps her nose out of things like that. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's a lot healthier. Oh, I never forgot. <laughs> What's that? A stocking? Mm-hmm. I sort of keep score on it. Everything good and bad that happens to me. Getting away from that airfield alive. Dodging the Nazi patrols. Fellow for this. Nice. So bad. It's a frightfully hot in here, isn't it? No wonder with all the windows shut. Now look here, Mr. Soldier. I realize we had to be here together tonight. But that's no reason why you should take it for granted. like that without orders. No right in the world. Why do you decide such things for yourselves? Why didn't you ask me? It was too late to get in touch with you. We had to use our own judgment. It was bad judgment. Where are your brains? Don't blame them. It was my fault. He was already up in my room. I sent him there without asking anybody. And we thought as long as he was there, we'd keep him there and throw him off the scent. Now listen. Last night, one of your girls took in a strange man. And this morning, she reported to you that he was an escaped English soldier. Now notify the German military police. Call them at once. Professor, suppose he is an escaped English soldier. What's that got to do with it? But if he's not in the pay of the German... Then what? They'll shoot him. You know they will. Get this clear for now and always. The work we are doing is more important to France and to England than the lives of a thousand soldiers. Hello? Military police headquarters? This is the proprietor of Cabrilla Coquine speaking. Morning. You're an angel. How are you this morning? Six hours sleep, a proper wash, hot food. It's a beautiful world. Afraid to use up most of your soap? That's all right. Have you had breakfast? Yes. I got up at six. I gave you a bad night, didn't I? Not at all. I saw where you slept. I woke up during the night and you know, the notches were dreams. And there you were, sitting up in this thing asleep. I'd been more gallant and less tired, I'd have got up and changed places with you, but I didn't want to wake you and scare you anymore. 
You were scared of me last night, admit it. Perhaps a little. Sure you were, but you didn't need to be. You see, from the way you talked at first, I didn't figure you right. I'd be a heel to bother you after all you did for me. A heel? What's that? Hmm. That's American. It means somebody awful low, like, uh, like a Nazi. What's the matter? Nothing. Why? You seem to be listening for something. Are you afraid somebody will find out I'm here? Well, I... As soon as I finish the coffee, you'll show me the way and I'll be out of your hair. And what are you going to do? Well, England's only 60 miles across the channel. Maybe I'll wander down to the docks and steal me a rowboat somewhere. Or stow away on one of those fishing boats that go out to the middle of the channel and hitchhike from there. The way I feel right now, I could swim the rest of the way. Hitchhike? Is that American too? Mm, means a uh, bag of ride. Listen, if you are an American, what are you doing in this war? No war, then it's in a way. Anyhow, flying is. Business. Mm hmm? I flew in Spain against Franco and China against the Japs. You know, I never seem to get on the winning side. Does it matter to you, as long as you get your pay? <laughs> you don't think much of me, do you, sister? The pay isn't so much, but I'll tell you something. This war started years ago. It's been fought in a lot of places, all over the world. It's the same war, though. It isn't lost yet. No. And those of us who joined up when it started, well, we sort of feel we ought to stay in it for the duration. Oh, well, let's get the war talk. What's your name, really? Marianne Jacquet. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Mary. You haven't seen the last of me. I like you. And when this is over, I'm coming back. I mean it. Leave a forwarding address if you move. Look at me. Hmm? You are not a Nazi. You are not. Well, what's the matter? Hide. Hide quickly. They're coming to take you. He heard you coming. He went out that way. We'll turn in a general alarm. Yeah, we'll pick him up when we want him. Where have you got him? Where is he? Get your hands up. He's not what you think. He's a British flyer. Sure I am. Whatever you are, you're going to get a chance to prove it. Okay. You and this girl will come with me. Where to? Where they will cut your throat if you're a German agent. If you're not, well, that's not my authority to say. But until we get there, if you try to call out or run away, I'll shoot you. I won't run away. That means you too. Come on. le butin de vos feux et sans vous amuser d'une attente frivole. Voilà mon cœur ouvert, puisque vous le voulez, et mes vrais sentiments à vos yeux étalés. Êtes-vous satisfait Et mon âme attaquée, c'est...
us on the job. Jamio checked the bomb and wiring I was to light the fuse. He was to keep watch. I did my part. In a moment, the police were on us. I managed to get away, but they caught Jamio. I don't know where he was. Well, I saw them coming at Am I right on that, all? Didn't you think it necessary to warn your comrades? I don't know. I, I didn't get a chance. What are you going to do to me? No. No. I'm not a traitor. I just lost my courage, that's all. Punish me, yes. But you can't kill me for that. You can't. In this army, there are no fines, no prisons. There is only one punishment. No, please, in heaven's name, have pity on them. I joined of my own accord. I never took money for German. I just lost my nerve. You can't kill me for that. You can't kill a man just because he got frightened. No. That man, step this way, please. Keep it chin up, soldier. Everything's going to be all right. Counting the assistant gardener. How long have you known Andre Benoit? Three years. He was in love with you? Yes. And you with him? We were going to be married. He used to discuss politics with you? No. Never talked to you of his plans? Never. Didn't you know he was an accomplice of the Nazis? I know it now. Didn't you know he was in their pay even before the war? No. Was he? I tell you, I knew nothing. I had no interest in his politics or in any politics. Yet you were interested enough to join this cause. Why? Because my eyes were open. I saw my country betrayed and helpless. Innocent people blown to bits. My own mother was killed in my arms. And I knew which side I belonged on. That's what we're trying to find out. Which side do you belong on? Andre Benoit's sweetheart. Andre Benoit's sweetheart? I could still be that if I wanted to be. Living a soft and sheltered life in my villa on the Riviera, instead of being buried here in a third-rate curry, pounding away on a piano all night, sending messages I don't understand, risking my life every minute. Are you complaining? No, sir, just explaining. Suppose I found a more important job for you. Would you like that? Yes. As a test of your loyalty. I'd welcome it. Even if it were difficult? Very dangerous? What do you want me to do? Go back to Andre Benoit. Oh, no. What for? To find out what he's doing to betray his country what he's planning to do. Do you think you can? I'll try. He's in Paris now. I'm going to let you talk with him over the telephone. From here? He won't know where you're talking from. We'll manage that. Well? Right. Numéro privé, 1, 2, 5, 7, André Benoit. And for the free passage of all troops, transport and supplies, and the fullest use of all air bases, harbors, dry docks and port facilities, wherever situated in the colonial territories of France. Only one copy. It's to be initialed by everybody at the conference. And then there can be no dispute as to what was agreed. Yes. What's that? Who? Speak plainer, please. Hold on a minute. It's a lady, monsieur. No, 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 not now. She says it's very urgent. I have to say, Sweepers wants to speak with you. Sweepers! Marianne! Marianne, my darling! Yes, Andre. Oh, it's good to hear your voice again. Where are you? Oh, don't ask me to tell you all that now. No, please don't. It's been so horrible. You must come to Paris at once. What? 
Oh, I'll arrange everything. But listen, darling, I... I won't be here when you arrive. I've got to leave early in the morning, but I'll be back in a few days. Where are you going? Oh, to Berlin. Oh, I see. Well... Well, Andre, but then I won't be seeing you for days. Oh. oh, Andre, is that all it means to you, finding each other again? Why? Why can't you fly another day? Well, can't you fly from here? Of course you could if you wanted to. Well. If you really loved me, you could, Andre. You know you could. No, all right. No. No, I'll wait here until you find time to come for me, that's all. Well. No, no. No, I don't want to go alone, no. Oh. No, no, that's quite all right. No, no, I'm not crying. Oh, Marianne, please. You know I can't bear it when you cry. All right, dear. All right, but don't cry anymore. I'll be there this afternoon. But I don't know about the trains. What? You'll meet them all. Oh, bless you, my little sweepers. All right, darling. Au revoir. I shall want space on the first train north this afternoon. And about Berlin? They can fly me there, arrange it. The arrangements have been made. Change them then. Yes, monsieur. Listen carefully, mademoiselle. This thing may be more important than any of his dreams. He's flying to Berlin. That means the conference is over and an agreement has been reached which Hitler himself has to ratify. Is that clear? Yes. What's in that agreement? How far had the Vichy government pledged itself to give aid to the Nazis? If we know that, we, that is England, can take the necessary countermeasures in time. It may mean the difference between defeat and victory. You see that? Yes. Our people will be around you as far as we're able to put them there. They will give you all the assistance they can. But for the most part, you'll be on your own. It's a long chance and dangerous. Good luck. Thanks for trusting me. You'll need some nice clothes. Oh, yes. Duval will take care of your needs and arrange contact details. Go with him. Oh, may I ask something? What? That American flyer. What are you going to do with him? If he is what he says he is, we'll help him on his way. And I won't be seeing him again. I'd like to say goodbye to you. You let Mademoiselle Gentil say goodbye to her aviator. Thank you. They're all alike, Marceau. Did you see her eyes when she spoke of him? If she's in love with this American, it's all the more certain she's not here to do dirty work for Andre Benoit. That's an academic question, Professor. The job she's going to do can have only one end. If she's on our side, the Nazis will kill her. If she is not, we we'll kill her ourselves. You'll be all right. They'll be sending you back to England. What about you, soldier? <laughs> I'm the kind of soldier who looks into a man's eyes and forgets orders. But they're not going to do anything to you. No. They've let me off this time. Good luck. I won't forget you. I don't want you to. Listen, what do they say in America when they don't want to say goodbye? You just say, I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you. Eins, zwei. Drei, vier. Eins, zwei, drei, vier.
There is another bedroom and bath on that side. I hope Monsieur le Ministre will find everything satisfactory. It will do. Put the two striped bags in there. We'll dine in here, set up a menu. Thank you, gentlemen. If there's anything further you require, you'll have only to ask. A car to take you to the airport will be here in the morning at 7. Thank you. Now we're alone. What did you do? That? Oh, that's a dictaphone. But who put it there, the Germans? The Germans, the pro-British. My own government. I never can be sure. This is your travel permit and your ticket to Paris. On behalf of the government of Great Britain and the state of Texas, I want to thank you. There's a train in about 40 minutes. I'd advise you to wait at a station. It's safer than wandering the streets. Good luck, sir. I'll pour it. You can go now. I'll ring for you if I want you. Yes, monsieur. Forgotten a thing. There's nothing about you that I shall ever forget. I don't know why. You're not beautiful. You don't love me the way I love you. Oh, don't deny it. I've always known that. And yet, when you disappeared, I was lost too. Tremendous things were happening. My most secret plans, my highest ambitions, my dreams, you might say, were coming true. But it all seemed a little empty because you were not there. Is that weakness? I hate weakness. Now, who can that be? Yes? Captain Schwab, Intelligence Division. Honored to meet you, Monsieur le Minister. Why didn't you have her self announced? Official business. We think it better not to be announced. Sorry. Oh, come in. I'll leave you alone, Andre. Thank you, dear. You won't be long. Well, Captain? I'll be brief. Paris headquarters had me on the telephone. German headquarters, you mean? That's right. You had an important meeting there yesterday? Yes. There are minutes of that meeting? Just my own resume. You have them with you. You're flying with them to Berlin in the morning. Correct. My orders are to take those minutes into safe custody overnight and give them back to you with a plane in the morning. I see. Just routine precaution, monsieur. In their place, I will leave you this dispatch case. It contains some documents which are harmless. Shall we say, misleading. What are you afraid of? There's a strong underground movement here, skillfully organized. They don't stop at much. Just the same, I'll keep my own documents if you don't mind. My orders are to... Captain! I'm a minister of the government of France. Your orders don't concern me. That's all very well, sir. But these documents concern my government as well as yours. And I don't consider it safe for them to... Your, uh, solicitude, as you credit, Captain. I assure you, I can take care of myself. I've dealt with spies all my life. So have I. And I learn something new about them every day. This lady who is with you, have you known her long? You may set your mind at rest, Captain. The lady is my fiancée. Oh, your fiancé. Of course. And now, if there's nothing more on your mind? There is, monsieur. One thing. The lady is or was employed in a cafe which we have reason to believe is connected with the French underground. She's been observed in the company... Captain! I resent and reject your insinuations. Your pardon, monsieur. It is possible we've made a grave error. 
I will leave this, if I may. We call it the mouse trap. It's very simple, really. A secret pocket containing some harmless papers. On its lock, a little needle that pricks the finger of whoever is gullible enough to touch it. As I leave this, you may find it useful. You never can tell. Good night, Captain Schwaber. Good night. Yeah, you can come in now. What an odious man. Oh, he's just a stupid policeman. He's got eyes like steel knives. Let's forget him. Have some coffee. We well, forgot his dispatch case. No, no, no. Leave it. He's put you in a temper, Andre. Why? What did he want? He wanted to warn me against enemy agents. Here? Tonight? Yes. He even suspects you. Me? Oh. What did you tell him? <laughs> I sent him about his business. I'd make a good spy, though. Yes. My little sweepers. What would you do? Oh, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? I'd make love to you. Worm your secrets out of you. Have we got many secrets, Andre? I'm overflowing with them. But seriously, my darling, I think it would be wiser if you turned in early tonight. Lock yourself in your room and stay there until I call you. Do you mind? Mm -hmm. Try. You're not in danger, are you? No, no. Well, there might be an attempt. What? I have nothing to go on, actually, but, uh, well, I suppose that German put it in my mind. But we'd better be sure. Yes, whatever you say. Come, have your brandy. Why are you prowling around here in the dark? I couldn't sleep. I... I thought I heard someone in here and I came in to see. That was foolish of you. There's blood on your hand. How did you hurt yourself? I don't know. Perhaps the bolt on my door. It's a deep cut. I'll fix it for you. Sit down there. I have a first aid kit in my bag. But it isn't that serious, Andre. A 
thing like this can be more serious than you realize. Well, you know best. Yes, I know best. You've never gone wrong when you've listened to me, have you? No. You are a very clever man. You cut your finger on the lock of that dispatch case, didn't you? Maybe I did. I was confused and frightened. I thought someone had been tampering with your papers and I touched the lock to see if it had been opened. You needn't have bothered. The papers in that dispatch case are counterfeit. And its lock is a trap to mark the fingers of the person that tampers with it. There may even be poison on it. That's why I'm going to dress your wound so thoroughly. Hold still, my darling. This will hurt. There are two kinds of spies. The romantic ones and the professional scoundrels. Both kinds are stupid. Because if they weren't, they'd know I'm not the man to keep state documents lying around. Want to know where I really keep them? And suppose they were cleverer. <laughs> Say they persuaded a fascinating woman like you to win my confidence, to drug me perhaps, and steal this while I slept. Then what would they have? Nothing very vital. For every project they can discover and frustrate, I can make ten new and better ones. The thing they want to know is here in my brain. And they can't steal that, Marianne. Oh, no, my dear. They can't steal that. What have they told you about me? That I love the Nazis? That I'm a traitor to France? Yes, André. That you dealt with them in secret, even before our country was at war. And if I did, tomorrow all France will be thankful that I did. I foresaw what was to come. They were strong and united. We were weak and disunited. Their philosophy of government was practical. It worked. Ours was outmoded. It had ceased to work. Ancient privileges had to yield to new privileges. When the river overflows its banks and the floodwaters descend on you, do you try to stop them with your hands or do you float with them to safety? What about liberty? Equality? Fraternity? What safety is there without them? Ah, phrases. They may have had a meaning once. I doubt it. As one of our wiser statesmen said long ago, the public is an ass. Only he understated it. The public is an imbecile. His liberty is a sham. His equality a delusion. His fraternity a lie. Why are you telling me all this, Sandra? Because I'm in love with you, my darling, and I don't want to lose you. Unless I must. Oh, yes. I'll destroy you if it's necessary. Even you. Don't make me do that, Marianne. What do you want me to say? I want you to tell me about these people who've been trying to make you my enemy. Who they are, where they meet, how they work, everything you know about them. If you tell me, I can keep you out of this. If you won't tell me, I shall hand you over to the Nazis and you'll tell them. They have horrible ways of making a woman tell. Don't make me do that, Marianne. Come back to my heart where you belong. Believe in me. France needs a surgeon who can cut deep and sure. I am that surgeon. France needs a master who can be strong and merciless. I am that master, and you will be at my side. You and I, like a king and a queen in France. Oh, believe in me, my dear. I know what's best for you, just as I know what's best for France. Best for Bonsoir, 
monsieur, mesdames. Bonsoir. I won't be long, I promise. What how can you say that, darling? Of course I don't want to leave you. Yes, yes, darling, I'll hurry back, I promise. No, I won't stay a minute longer than I have to. Oh, no, Andre, please, you'll make me late. Au revoir. Who gave you the clothes you're wearing? I bought them. From whom? From a man up in the restaurant. Did he sell you the false passport too? The passport's mine. Wait. You Americans never know where courage ends and stupidity begins. So speak up, man. You're only wasting time. I'm speaking to you. Answer me. Yes. Munich, just received. Captain Schwab's office, Lieutenant Lance speaking. What? It's the Palace Hotel, sir. Andre Benoit has been found dead in his bed, shot with his own gun. When? A chambermaid went in with towels five minutes ago and found the body. A Genetier woman. Was she still there? The woman that was with him. Are they holding her? What? She went away, sir, before the murder was discovered. She went away. Of course she did. They will be right over. We'll be there immediately. What information she took from him will be on short way before long. To England. That's your job, Lance. You've got to stop it. I warned that French fool. He wouldn't listen to me. Lock him up for now. You, Gruber. Find that girl if you have to pull every house in the city apart. Keep him on ice. The chief wants to talk to him later. Good night. Good night. Yes, I remember you. Well, uh, could I talk to you, please? I'd kill every one of you, quick as look at you. Women and little children, that's something else. You must understand that. Sure, I understand. My hat's off to you for it. Never mind that. But what I'm asking you is not for myself. Someone I love is in trouble. I've got to get out of here. I've got to. You think I'm a weakling, too? You think all you've got to do is remind me that you did me a good turn once and I'll forget I'm a soldier and turn my back and let you go? Well, you're wrong, my friend. That isn't the way we do things in the German army. Besides, I don't know you anything. When you picked me up, you thought I was British. And... Here. 
wandered in, bold as you please. Well, it was a brave thing you did, child, a wonderful thing. You must be crazy. Kills the man and leads the Gestapo right back to us. But why did you come here? Here, of all places, and every German in town looking for her. Please. I tried to get it to headquarters, but I couldn't get him. It's very urgent, isn't it? You'll want to put it into code and send it. Where else was I to take it? Sit down, child. Sit down. We don't dare send from here tonight. We have orders not to. Uh, fetch Paul. Why, this is abominable. They may just as well give France to the Germans. But if London knows in time. Yes. London has got to know at once. Paul, take this to headquarters as fast as you can. It couldn't be more important. You can't do it, Professor. The Nazis won't let me through. We're we'll in for it tonight. How do you know? Emil tried to go to buy bread. They turned him back. They're letting anybody in but nobody out. I'll try if you say so, but there's no use. We've got to put it on the air. It would take hours to put this in the code. And then they'd only stop us. They know we have a sending station here. It's hopeless. All for nothing. Never mind. You did all you could. She brought all this on us. From the moment she first set foot in this place, our troubles began. Oh, you got tongue, woman. Go about your business. You too, Paul. You might need help. Please. Place are surrounded? Yes, sir. On, shall they start broadcasting from here again? You'll be notified? Headquarters will let me know whenever they stop. Good. A group of no arrests until Lance has finished his job. I will give the word. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I hope so. But I doubt it. Someone will bungle it. Someone always does. All right. Stations. says it's very urgent. Yeah? They are sending, sir. Started about five minutes ago. They changed the code. Yes, sir, we are working on it. Well, do your best, sir. How much longer will you take? My men are working. Not very long, I hope. Then we'll wait. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Do you remember me? Oh, yes. We met the evening at the Palace Hotel. That's right. How's Monsieur Benoit? He went to bed early. He was tired from his journey. Ah. You play well, 
soon, mademoiselle. Cummings. Couldn't stay on there. Too nervous. Perhaps you'll do me the honor to have a glass of wine with me at my table. Oh, thank you. But I'm not permitted to drink with the guests. You see, I'm only the piano player. Oh, I'm sure in this case the proprietress will make an exception. I'm afraid not. Oh, please. I would like to talk with you a little bit. About Monsieur Benoit. As soon as I finish. Men, Flight Lieutenant Jordan is with them, wearing a German uniform. He'll try and light a flare. Yes, sir. Take the German transport we captured at Narvik. We'll never get through on one of our own. Now pick your men and work fast. Very good, sir. And good luck. Thank you, sir. apartment before you went back to kiss Benoit goodnight. That's right. Wait, I had just gone. How did you hurt your hand? Oh, it's nothing. Hmm? Cut it at dinner, perhaps? A fruit knife? No. As a matter of fact, Captain, it was a dispatch case. Uh-huh. Yes. Andre explained the mechanism to me and I stuck my finger in it. You look as if you don't believe me. Oh, but I do. Why not tell the whole truth? What are you suggesting? I suggest that Benoit caught you tampering with that dispatch case. That he accused you and that you shot him with his own gun, stole his papers and went off. That you're a member of the underground ring that's been sending military information to the British. There's just one link missing in the proof. We're waiting for that right now. In the meantime, Mademoiselle, you're under arrest. You will keep your seat. yourselves and file off quietly. It. 
And you? What did you do? Me? I tend bar here. <laughs>